Hello, viewers, friends, subscribers. Hello, viewers, friends, subscribers. It's AG, and today we're playing Mega Man 4 for the PS4. See how that goes? Mega Man 4, PS4. This was the Mega Man that I actually owned as a kid. The first Mega Man game I ever played. Mega Man 4. Man. Uh... I'll probably go through this pretty quickly, because this is the game I played the most out of the whole series. Um, I don't know if I'll have any hiccups uh, in this game like I kind of did in, in the other ones. Um, I don't know, I don't think so. So let's just get started, shall we? Shall we? 1991. Alright, yeah, that was a long time ago in a galaxy. Eh, not too far away. Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by Master Robot Designer Dr. Light and were enjoying their peaceful days. Then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage and the world fell into total chaos. Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wily was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. He had a strong sense of justice, volunteered to be converted into a fighting robot. Thus, the super robot Mega Man was born. Oh, okay. Mega Man, awake. Awaken, Mega Man. You must save the world. Please. I remember I... I uh, Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times! And... World peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Okay. Dr. Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts for the battle again. This time equipped with a powerful new Mega Buster. Oh yeah. Mega Buster makes the game so much more easy. Easier than it ever will be in the history of time. Mega Man 4. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know who to choose. Who do I choose? Um, I think it was the Toad guy first. I think it was Toad, and then Toad rains on the bright guy, because he's a light bulb, you know, and it hurts his electricity. And then the light bulb guy st stops this guy, Pharaoh Man, from Egypt, I would assume. Uh, and then Pharaoh Man kills Ring Man, Ring Man kills Dust Man, Dust Man kills Skull Man, Skull Man kills Dive Man, and Drill Man is last. I think that's what I remember. Uh, I get, like I said, this is the game I actually had as a kid uh, first. I think I had Mega Man 4 and 3, I think I, and then I rented the rest of them when I was a, a wee lad back in the days of 1990s. But, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, out there have been playing Breath of the Wild, <laughs> but it is wild indeed. Um, I spent the first week owning that game just exploring, and I barely got to Impa. I, I just got to Impa the other day, because I was just running around the whole kingdom and cooking stuff, and that game is great. I mean, I love it how you can just go about it on your own pace and do whatever you want. And, uh, most of the time there's nothing holding you back. I mean, sometimes... You can't go to certain areas because you can't swim far enough, or uh, you're not able to take a boat or anything like that. Or you know, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So it's uh it's very much like the original Legend of Zelda in 3D. Kind of like how Ocarina of Time was uh, linked to the past in 3D. This is more like Legend of Zelda the original in 3D, and it's like wow, cool, finally. It's like, it's the same, but different. It's pretty much a reboot of Zelda, in a way, in my opinion. I know I'm just starting it, but that's what it seems like to me. 
So I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And at the same time, I'm playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is very similar to, to uh, Breath of the Wild, actually. The graphics are totally amazing. Um, and in that game, you're exploring a vast land and killing robotic dinosaurs or whatever they are. Again, I'm probably only in the beginning of that game, too. Because I spent a lot of time exploring and collecting things, so... I don't know, I'm having fun with both of them. So those are the two main games I'm playing right now. Breath of the Wild on the Switch, uh, and Horizon Zero Dawn. And if you haven't seen my videos uh, unboxing those, go check those out. Por favor. That means please in Espanol. Espanol means Spanish. Um, yeah, this Mega Man game, I think I played so much that I found it easy. Watch, well, I'm going to say it's easy, I'm going to die right now. Every time, that happened, that happened in the last stream, too, the Mega Man 2 or 3. Every time I say, oh, this game's so easy, I'll die. It's like a jinx or something. But, <laughs> yeah, this was the Mega Man that I played the most, because I owned it. And, uh... I never found this game hard, because the Mega Buster makes this game easy. Going back and playing the original Mega Man... 1, 2, and 3, they're a tad tougher because the Mega Buster pretty much owns everything, so what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna go on and die the same way, so let's uh, be a little more careful, so. Um, okay, so I have Rush Coil right now. I don't remember if I used Rush Coil on this or not, but I'm gonna just do it to be safe. Uh, I'll be dying all day in a probably easy part. And that's just embarrassing. I remember this Robot Master being uh, pretty easy, so we'll see what happens here. since I've played Mega Man 4. This one just jumps over you? Yeah, this is stupid. Come on, Capcom, what, what is this? Is this real? Yes, Anthony, it's real. Uh, just because you played the game a million times doesn't mean it's ha not hard for other people. I don't know, Capcom, but this is just ridiculous. What is this? This for, like... This, is, this challenge is for... For little toddlers! Come on! And there's Toad Man, in a nutshell. Don't know... what that was, really. <laughs> Here's to Toad Man. Cheers. Really shouldn't be drinking coffee right now. It being the evening and all. But, uh, just decaf. Shouldn't kill me too much. You got it. Rain flush. Like my voiceovers. <laughs> so stupid. You got Rush Marine Adapter. It's not like Batman. <laughs> Christian Pale Batman. I got the Mega Buster, Joker. What did I say? Right man, right? Because the rain would go into the electricity and then mess him up and stuff, you know. game isn't as good as the others. This is like, I think this is when the music started getting like, meh. Mega Man 3 was the pinnacle, and then, I don't know, I think it was just hard to follow. It's not terrible, but it's not as memorable as Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. Alright, I don't know where I'm going. Can we please turn some lights on? Oh, we're not gonna do that? Oh, should I just die? I guess. Oh, there it is. I guess I just have to run. Is it just had a run for wood? What is this? A totem pole robot? What is that for? Is this like, did we talk about that in one of the other streams? I don't remember. Like they make all these these robots. Like what is this? Okay, grasshopper robot. Get over the spikes. Okay. I guess. What is this? Is this a candy? I always thought this was a candy machine. A candy machine robot? I don't know what that is. It's like full of gumball or something. Yeah, uh, Dr. Wily makes all these dumb robots, and, uh, they really serve no purpose. 
I guess we're supposed to be protecting Bright Man? I don't know. I don't know what Capcom's storyline was thinking here. Alright, what's down here? Anything important? Right, which way am I supposed to be going? I don't remember this. There's two paths. We're gonna go down here. Why not? This is, looks like we've some platforming, which I'm good at. Oh yeah, I shouldn't tell myself I'm good at things, and then I die. Not bad. Alright. Just goodies down here, that's cool. Oh, really? This is not cool. This is not cool. Cool. Come on, Rush. Oh no, this song's kind of catchy. Well, that's, a, that's a little mem memorable tune. I mean, it's not super memorable, but it's a memorable tune. Oh gosh. Slow down? I don't understand. Slow down on the PS4. Thank you, grasshoppers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, this is hit me. Oh. I accidentally got past that one. Did I play Mega Man 4 for you guys at AG Entertainment? I don't think I did. I think I only went up to Mega Man 3. I don't remember if I did or not. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I think it's, uh, I think that's a no. I think I stopped at Mega Man 3. Because I was doing those interactive walkthroughs, and those took a long time to make. Oh my gosh! That was not good. That was not good at all. The thing people think these games are so hard is because when you die, you have to just start over really far. And people are not used to that. Because usually games just let you start right where you died. People are not used to the repetition of NES games. I mean, I know there's some games out there that are hard, like... Oh my gosh. Are difficult, like, uh... Bloodborne and Dark Souls, and... I don't know, I was looking at the PlayStation Store yesterday, and they have a whole section in the store, like, oh, games that are so, de like, definingly hard or something. You know, I had Bloodborne in there, and... Dark Souls and stuff like that. Which I still need to play. Because I love when people say, oh, games are hard. Because I I want to see how hard these games are. Is Dark Souls really as hard as people say it is? I, I, I want to just play it just to, just to find out, you know? But people saying this is hard. This is not... These games... Mega Man is not hard. You just have to be patient with it. Mega Man 4, 5, and 6 are easy. And then, if anything's hard, it's the first one, the second one, and the ninth one. All the rest are not that bad. I think, like I said, it just people are not used to retro games. Um, because they weren't forgiving. They had to be difficult to lengthen. How, uh, oh gosh, okay. Because these games are really short, if you think about it. So the difficulty makes them longer than they should be. And back in the day, you weren't used to playing video games, you know? NES days? That was still a new thing. I mean, I know Atari was before that, Pong was before that, but... Wait, am I at the wrong... Yeah. So back then, th these games were hard because we just weren't used to video games yet. Alright, this should kill him fast. Oh no, I guess not. Is this not the weapon? I don't know. Pretty sure this was the weapon. Yeah, okay. Alright. There you go, Mega Man. Kill a light bulb. That's what you did. You killed a light bulb. You got Flash Stopper. That's a purple. The dude was orange. 
Flash, uh, what did that kill? That kills the Egyptian guy. Pharaoh man. Alright, Pharaoh man. Victor! What's up, Victor? Victor, you have my last name, you know that, man? You probably know that. Alright, here we are in Pharaoh Man stage in the desert. Sinking sand, you yeah. know? Yeah, you like this game? It is a very good game. Very good game. Um It's not as good as the I mean it's not as good as two and three, but it's still a good game. Still a good game, my friend. Of course, if you sink in the sand, you'll die. Oh, what is this? I don't remember getting that in the past. What is this? Now I'm all confused. Oh, the balloon! Okay, that'll make things easier later. It's a platforming uh, device. In there. Always Mega Man 4. Please, it's good. Uh, sorry, Victor, my Spanish is not perfect. It's not perfect at all, actually. Uh, sobre Mega Man 4. Uh, please, it's good. The video of the capsule in directo. In directo. I don't. Oh, see, exposing me for my unspanishness. Now you left. Ah, I'm sorry. This, that's the public school system for you. Didn't teach me Spanish well enough to communicate. I need to learn Spanish. You know, is uh, is on my uh, bucket list. So I need to get started on that soon. I need to figure out the best way to do it. Especially, uh, you know, I'm. I should know Spanish, so it's like. Uh, everyone expects me to speak Spanish, so instead of them expecting me, I, I should be prepared and boom, Spanish. You know, I can get away with knowing like some, but it's not good when people want to have full-on conversations with me. So, uh, lo siento, Victor. Lo siento. That means sorry. <laughs> Let's go get that. Yeah, we need to get prepared. I, I can't believe I died, though. This is what happens. Oh, it's so easy. It's so easy. And then, boom, dead. These spikes. These spike levels. Oh, no. No. Oh. Why? Yeah, I have patience though. It's not gonna bother me when I die. It's just I can't believe I'm dying. I remember this being easier, but maybe it's because when I was little, I was playing it all the time. I didn't have that many NES games when I was little, so I played this game a lot. So <laughs> that's the thing. I love Mega Man. Oh, I still love Mega Man. What am I saying? I didn't love him. Past tense. Love him present tense. Hopefully that annoyance. Nope. More annoyances on the way. Yeah, the mummies are annoying. 
Hold on, don't. All right, good. We're here. I'm glad. Uh, what are we killing him with? Uh, the bright one. I think this is the one that freezes them in in uh, in time. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to fight you. He's gonna jump all the way over here. There we go. Oh, what happened? I should have frozen there. And this is a boss, guys. This is a boss. Oh, a little bug in my coffee. What the heck? Like a little gnat or something. Alright, well, I guess that means no more coffee. Oh, now I'll drink it. Do a different voice. You got Pharaoh shot. No, that's stupid. You got Pharaoh shot. <sighs> Who do I choose? <laughs> I already told you the order. Pretty sure this is the order. Because let's see, Pharaoh man. I don't know why Pharaoh would kill Rain. I don't know. Oh, I remember liking this stage. This is a fun stage. Nice graphics on the stage here. Reminds me of Airman stage, just the background and everything. Yeah, okay, this tune, okay, this is somewhat memorable too, so. Aw, oh, man. Fight. I wonder if there's a way I can uh, make a video, upload a video to AG Entertainment from my phone and, and tell people that I'm streaming. Try that in a second. Might not even matter because I'm almost halfway through the game now. Man. I'm gonna rain it. I'm gonna rain on his parade. Yeah, that's easier than to use the Mega Buster on that. Punk. Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't drink any more coffee right now. Decaf or not, even decaf has caffeine in it. You get up at a good time tomorrow. This. Just a ring robot doing ring things. Another hippo. Oh, another hippo. Oh, hippo. Not that. I need that. No more of that goodness. Luckily, that ended him. Alright, rush coil up to that ladder is probably another item I need to use. What do you got for me? Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste! I don't know if I should use an E-tank. Eh, if I die, I die. Oh. 
Glad I helped you out. Is this me? Wait, now I'm in space? That's just like realize I'm in space. Because I climbed so high, I got the space. Thank you for the energy. Can I make this jump? I don't know. I don't trust it. I need to rush to come to the rescue. Nope. Go. Ah, they thought they were aiming with that trap. I was ready. I want this guy again. This guy has an easy pattern, if I remember correctly. <sighs> that's... that's sad, that's really sad. Alright, let's see if I can get on YouTube and say, hey! Streaming here, peoples. I think I have my AG Entertainment. Oh, sorry. You got Ring Boomerang. Um. What? Don't saying I'm offline, but I'm not offline. Oh, there's my channel. It's like, oh, come on down. So, there are notifications. Uh, I don't know. I guess people don't watch the channel anymore, which is fine. I am starting from scratch, so it's not a big deal. Okay, it's not a big deal. Um, I know it's like starting over. Um, I'm just going to be a straight upload on TV. Or like stream from my phone or something. I should have figured this out before. Um, ma, ma, ma. Oh, here we go. There's like a camera button down there. Uh, camcorder, I guess. I'm just gonna tell some peeps that I'm over here. Sorry, this is getting annoying. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's AG. Uh, I'm streaming right now at the Game Capsule. Um, streaming Mega Man 4! So if you're around, come on down. Come say hi. Come hang out. Uh, Mega Man. I mean, who doesn't love Mega Man? I know I do. Alright, see you then. Game Capsule TV. Alright, streaming live. Sure. Sure, why not? And then I'll just put the link here and say, Hey guys, come on down to the game capsule. Sorry, um, if you're watching this after the live stream. Uh, you can skip ahead. I'm just gonna post this really quick. I don't even know if this is gonna connect with anybody, but this is an experiment. I gotta experiment with stuff like this just to make sure uh, what works and what not, what doesn't work. You know, I might have to just make a video before I start the stream. I just the thought of doing this right now. So excuse me, uh, just for a moment.
Alright, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's see, what are we doing? I don't even know. Uh, I just killed Ringman, and Ringman would kill Skullman, I think. Yeah, I'm Skullman. I don't know why purpose is, because skeletons are supposed to be something that would hold a, a body, you know? But, uh, I'm just a skeleton man, robot. I don't know why purpose is in life, I'm just, uh, I live in my bone castle. My bone level. Oh, Dr. Wily, making your crazy robots with no purpose. Funny stuff, funny stuff. Um... Mega Man's purpose is, uh... Makes sense, you know? He, he, he's here to save the world. Shield robots were in most of the Mega Man games. The later ones, I think. So, what games are you guys playing? I don't even know. You, you know I, I see what my friends on my PSN are playing. They're playing Neo, they're playing uh, Earth Defense Force, they're playing Disc Jam, which I really got into, is that free PSN game. Uh, I was really surprised how fun it is. And, uh, what was the other one? Tearaway Unfolded? Tearaway Unfolded's, uh, pretty okay, too, actually. So, I've been playing that a little bit. I've been playing, uh, I've been playing a lot of games, actually. Hey, Michael! What's up, man? Yeah, you're here. Did you get the notification from, uh, AG Entertainment or this channel? Cause I just did like a phone. Oh man. I just did like a phone um, update like during the stream. Just want to see if it worked or not. But uh, yeah, I'm here playing Mega Man 4, the fourth entry of the series. So it's good to have you here, Michael. Yeah, you you made it. Appreciate it. Both. Yeah. I don't understand. See, I don't know, like, what's working and what's not working, so I just tested it out, you know? I just tested it out. Because even that AG Entertainment has, like, 15,000 subscribers, but, um... I don't know who's getting notifications or not. I don't know who's still around anymore, so... Now, just testing it out. Oh, I don't want to risk it for a uh, tank do I have Rush Coil? Not Rush Coil. Oh, I can do the balloon. Whoops. Didn't mean to save. So what's new, Michael? Anything? I don't know. Uh, what games are you playing lately? You know, I was just... Trying to... Uh, I was wondering what kind of games people are playing. Cause I, the games I was listing are games people have been playing on my friends list on PSN, they're playing Neo, they're playing, um, what else, Earth Defense Force, I said that, they're playing Disc Jam, which I got into, that's like an arcade style, Pong, table tennis kind of game, um, yeah, people are playing, like, everything, really. Uh, For Honor, um, which is that samurai game. From, uh, I think Ubisoft made that. Just walk away. Oh. Okay, we're just getting killed by bones. Does this do anything? Oh, it freezes them. I don't want to use that. I want to use the... Oh, yeah, okay. I have not played that yet. I hear, I hear it's supposed to be good. Alright, we're like stuck on this part right now for some reason. We're going to... 
Flush coil. Yeah, whatever. Are you liking it? I mean, I heard it's good, so... I don't know. I've never played, uh... How do you pronounce it? De Deus Ex? Or... I guess I did Deus Ex. Human Revolution. That game came out, like, last year, didn't it? Yeah, I want to try it out eventually. Oh, wait, what am I supposed to do? I just killed Ring Man, right? Ring Man. Oh, don't die on this guy. Oh, I don't want to use my E-Tanks on this. It's that's pathetic, I just used that. Sorry. I just wanted to do that all over again. Maybe it's that ring man that kills him. Yeah, it's only knocking down one. Maybe that's the wrong weapon. Oh, it's hard? Okay, yeah. That's good though, because I want to play, I was just talking about difficult video games earlier to, uh, in the stream. I want to play more uh, difficult games along the way, so if that's a difficult game, I'll try it out. You got Skull Barrier! Nah, uh, I'll try that again. You got Skull Barrier! I don't know, if they had voiceovers in Mega Man 4 today, I wonder what the voice would sound like. Um... Oh! I, I used the wrong... Ring Man was supposed to be for Dust Man. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's why the rings weren't killing the skull guy. Alright. Guess we'll just go to Dustman now. I was wondering, like, why the rings weren't killing the skull guy, like, using the wrong weapon on the wrong robot. Oh god. <laughs> That was a little surprise. <laughs> uh, games that have those kind of things that jump out of uh, pits. Like, there was no warning. Just like, boom, you know? You learn after you get hit. You, you die from it, and then you learn your lesson. Ah, uh, good old NES days. See, now I know. Now I know not to jump carelessly over a pit. Uh, let's see if there's something over there on the other side. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how long this game is. I have nothing. Usually it takes me like an hour and a half to beat Mega Man, so I'll say another hour. Like most Mega Man games take like an hour, 20, hour, 40 minutes, depending how... I already died enough, so it might be another hour. Yeah, come come back. Do what you gotta do. do. What you gotta do, man. I get it. Let me get some content up on the channel. Game capsule. I was like, oh, I haven't streamed on Game Capsule in a while. Oh, oh gosh. Don't die. I've been streaming on Twitch, I've been streaming Disc Jam a little bit, uh, which is the free PS Plus game this month, and it's pretty dang fun! I'm very surprised by it. I got really good at it, and then I, I, w I had a stream on Twitch where I was undefeated for two and a half hours, I was like, oh, I'm too good at this game, and then I'm part of this video game Facebook group, and this guy was like, oh, I've never been beaten on Disc Jam, and I was like... I'll play you. Like, add me, you know? So then I started streaming thinking I was going to destroy him, and then he, like, killed me three times in a row, and I was like, I was actually really happy. Because <laughs> I found, finally found someone who's good at the game. I was like, yes, finally! So, uh, yeah, if, uh, I have exclusive content on Twitch that I'm not going to post here, so I probably won't do any disc jam stuff over here. 
So go uh, follow me on Twitch if you got Twitch too. I need to make a schedule for Twitch. I just don't. Uh, I just need to figure out my schedule for everything, really. So I can have a schedule on YouTube and Twitch and um, an upload schedule for my videos. Because right now it's just me getting started um, making them. And uh, I want to figure out what's best, um, you know, overall schedule for me. To, of course, respawning. But the best schedule for me would be. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can find me on Twitch at Game Capsule. There's no the. I think I'm gonna um, over time get rid of the the in Game Capsule, but we'll see. Uh, ring. So I killed the skull guy with, and I shouldn't have. Kill the dust man with the rings. It's not right, dust man. He's not having any part of that. Yeah, there you go, see? That hurts him. Alright, kill him before he kills you. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's Dustman. Dying from... A hula hoop, I guess? I don't know, Dr. Wily. Like, you think, like, three other times you made robots don't have their weapons hurt each other. Come on now. You got Dust Crusher. Um. Oh, better write this down. In a little notebook. Um. Diet Man. Diet Man gets killed by the skull for some reason. Um. Don't know why. Again. Rock, paper, scissors, people. I don't know. At least rock, paper, scissors makes sense. For the most part. Oh, give me that. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. There's so many games out, guys. I just I can't even keep up with all of them. I mean, I have... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 14 or 15 games physical on PS4. Um, and probably dozens more digital. Um, I have plenty of Wii U games, which I haven't played my Wii U in, like, forever. But, uh, plenty of games on Wii U. I got my Wii, I reconnected the Nintendo Wii back up to the TV, and I started playing some old games. So I, I downloaded a lot of games on the Wii. Um, yeah, that's, other than the last gen stuff, like, if you, even this gen, there's always a... So many games coming out, you can't keep up with all of them. So those people that are always uh, trying to play a brand new video game on YouTube just to get views and stuff. I don't know, that must be exhausting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll turn out to be that person. I'll start like, oh, every, every collector's edition I'll try to unbox, but it's difficult, you know. Even the ones I've been doing for the Game Capsule TV, uh, you know, I don't know how long I can do every unboxing because it's, that's expensive, guys. Expensive. You know. And the videos aren't getting that many views right now, so it's like laying the foundation for the channel. So I, I, I bought the Switch. I, I unboxed the Switch. Uh, Game Capsule TV. I unboxed the special edition of Zelda. I unboxed uh, collector's edition of um, what was her name? I was about to say Aloy Zero Dawn. <laughs> Aloy Zero Dawn. The Dank Memestro. Uh, so good to see you again. I remember watching your Goldeneye. Oh my god, Goldeneye. That was 2010, baby! Seven years ago. It's like... It's like you pulled the Master Sword out as a child and seven years passed and now you see me as an adult. Now you're Adult Link in Ocarina of Time. That seven years have passed. <laughs> Super Mario Pokemon! Yes! What's up? What's going on, guys? Dark Ma uh, Memestro. I almost said Maestro, but I guess that's what you were going for, too. Man, Goldeneye stuff. <laughs> that was 2010, I I'm pretty sure. 2011, 2010. That's a good game. I should play that game again. Goldeneye on the Wii. Even though it's pretty much Call of Duty, but, uh... Still good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Um... 
what kills this guy? What did I say? Skull, right? Hopefully I don't die though, because I think this is the guy that shoots the homing missiles. Oh yeah, the breakfast, uh, epic breakfast video. That was probably seven years ago. Come on! Um, yeah, I did that when I first moved to LA. That was 2009 I made that epic breakfast video. So yeah, 2009, 2010. Back in the day, dank Meanstro. Did you have a different name back then? Because I, I don't recall your name from back in the day. I would have remembered that. Dark Meanstro. Maybe you changed your name? Your uh, username? Super Mario Pokenerd's been around since back in the day as well. So, you know, you guys are loyal uh, viewers, friends, and subscribers. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time, guys. You probably remember me playing Mega Man on AG Entertainment, too. I mentioned that earlier. 24 years old. No. Got breath in the wild yesterday. It's good so far. Very different. Yeah, it's... I was saying it's very much like the original Leg Legend of Zelda in 3D, which I really love that. That you can just... It's an adventure. And, uh, sorry, I have to do a voice uh, over right now. You got dive missile! Um... And, uh... <laughs> Oh, usually on post comments? That's cool. Well, uh, thanks for uh, posting comments here. You know, we're just hanging out playing Mega Man Quattro. Um, that's Spanish for four. Um, yeah, this guy came and started speaking Spanish to me, and I felt really bad. I didn't totally understand him. You know. <laughs> I kind of understood what he was saying. He was saying Mega Man 4 is a good game, and then he started going, going off in the Spanish, and I was like, Oh, so sorry. I really need to know Spanish. Um... Breath of the Wild, though, yes. I love it. I, uh... Well, it's been out for a week now, right? All I've done is explore, and I just got to, uh, Impa, like, yesterday. So, really, what's, what is this guy doing? Um, I just got to Impa, because I spent most of the time just traveling. I was, like, cooking stuff, and I was, like, horses, and... Uh, climbing mountains and fighting enemies. I was just having a, a blast doing that. And then uh, I was trying to find all the towers to fill the whole map up. And then I was like, all right, I'll go to Kakariko Village now. It's been a week, you know. Um, and I, I got the Switch version. Um, and I like the Switch so far. It's very uh, bare bones. But, um, you know, I know all the games are going to come out later. So that's what I bought it for. I know so many people are like, why would you buy a console when there's no games for it? <laughs> you know? And it's like, uh... I'm buying it because games are gonna come out for it, idiots! You know? <laughs> I, I don't understand that mentality. It's like, if, if a DVD player comes out, if it's back in 1990... What did DVDs come out? 96? Back in the day when DVD players came out, and you bought a DVD player, you know you want DVDs, so it's like... Why you buy a DVD player if if you're not gonna if you only get one DVD with it? Yeah, it's like that doesn't make any sense. You know? Because I want to play Nintendo games eventually. You know they're gonna come out with new ones. You know I have a Wii U also. Um, I don't know. People just like to judge other people. You know. Because they can't get a switch themselves. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it at Target. I can't find it at Walmart. But I should have pre-ordered it, noobs. Pre-order it. I pre-ordered that baby like back back when they had that Japanese conference. As soon as that Japanese conference is over, I went straight to Best Buy. Pre-ordered. Boom. It was available. No trouble. There you go. Boom. And they don't charge your credit card until. You know, it comes out. So let's say you could, like, oh, well, I should probably should. If you regret your purchase, you could always be like, well, I, I, I can cancel it because I, I don't have the money right now. But I, I had the money to, to do it, so I was like, well, I'll do it. All right, what is this? This is stupid. Um, yeah, so if you didn't pre order it, then um, that's your own fault, man. But at the same time, the Wii U version is the same thing, so just use the, uh, just play the Wii U version for now if you can't get the Switch. It's like not a big deal.
but you know, you know gamers. Well, the premise man idea to switch, but I will wait for more games to come out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, you've got a PC, you're, you're set, you know, you're set. You're good to go. Uh, my sister and her husband are big PC gamers, and they're playing Overwatch right now as we speak, so, you know. PC gamers are, they got it, they got, um, I'm gonna die. Come on, get over there! PC gamers have it made, and then PlayStation's, get, you know, putting their games on PC, too. I think there's some subscription you can do. So, you know, if you have a PC, you don't want to play PlayStation games. Got for the Wii U because I'm cheap and because it was promised. Yeah, it was like 2013, wasn't it? All Nighter, welcome. Oh, All Nighter, you're from Twitter, right? Um, but we'll get a Switch when Mario comes out. Oh, yeah, Mario is what I really want. I mean, I wanted Zelda, but Mario Odyssey, I mean, I love my Mario games, people. Huh? I mean, please, Mario. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves that Mario. Uh, I'm always supposed to be killing this guy with. I just got Dust Man, right? Skull Man, Dust Man. No, I killed the Dive Man guy. Okay. Losing my mind, people. Losing my mind. So yeah, if you can't get the Switch, it's fine. It, it, as long as you get to play Zelda, it's it's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a masterpiece, even though I only played the beginning of it. <laughs> uh, so far, it's been pretty amazing, though. Super Mario Pokenard has returned! Getting Switch from Splatoon 2. Oh, Splatoon, of course! Yep, getting in that too. I love Splatoon. Loved it. Um, hopefully they make it better than the first one. Even though the first one is really fun, I, I just hope there's improvements. I hope it's just not more of the same, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'll probably get Splatoon. 2 and Mario Odyssey and uh, what else is coming out this year for the Switch? Street Fighter 2, even though uh, people are saying, why would you buy that? Because I love Street Fighter 2. It's probably one of my favorite fighting games of all time. You got the drill bomb! And, um... Oh, I got a dog, too. Um, what kind of dog do I get? You got Rush Adapter! Oh, thanks! Thanks for giving me the Rush Adapter. Dr. Cossack? Who's this guy? Says Child Anthony back in the day. Wow, he has his own castle? There's no way it's Dr. Wiley. Um. Oh, All Nighter, you're in Mexico. Okay. Um, so you can get a switch at every corner because pe pe people. Can, oh. The people. Are people uh, doing the stuff like eBay resellers and stuff like that are doing? Like. Selling for extra. Yeah, you know, it happens. I think there's going to be another sw shipment of Switches uh, eventually, so... Um, I own the console, and at the biggest draw is that it's portable. I was playing Zelda at Starbucks the other day, people. So, that was nice. I would just... I took out my Switch, started playing Zelda, drinking coffee. So that was pretty cool. And technically, you could do that with your Wii U as well. Isn't that a funny thing? James, what's up, James? Ah, James is in the house. Yeah, Mega Man 3 is my favorite, too. Yeah, I was saying that when I was playing Mega Man 3, it is my favorite. James, what is going on, man? Oh, oh, I slid. I slipped and fell. Alright, at least I'm not going all the way back in the beginning. Um, alright, so these are like the main bosses now. I don't remember the order, or not the order, I don't remember the weapons that kill the bosses, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Splatoon 2, maybe Xenoblade. Oh, Xenoblade 2. I never played Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, either of them, actually. Um, what was I playing? I don't think I even finished it. The Last Story, which I loved. I was loving it, and I don't think I ever finished it. Shoot, now I have to go pull that out of... Um... Uh, it's in storage, I think. I was loving that game, and then I just kind of stopped playing, <laughs> stopped playing it for some reason. I think I'm at the end of it, too, actually. Don't know why I stopped playing it. Getting my ass kicked, I just fell one time! 
Um. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Use it. See, this is why you need these balloons to make this easier. You can use Rush Coil as well, but you know. These are a little quicker. These are like the items in Mega Man 2. Let's see, what is this? Is this the Rush Jet that I can move around, or does he just go straight? Let's see. No, he just goes straight. Oh, God, open! Alright, see, I don't remember what this boss is, so we'll see. James, it's not Wily. It's Dr. Cossack now. There's no Wily's not in this game, James. You're wrong. <laughs> uh, I think this is Ringman kills this thing. I don't remember. I always use Mega Buster, though. Oh, let's see. Oh, I was right, man. That was that. That memory was from childhood. Remembering that. <laughs> Doctor Wily's not in this game, James. It's Doctor Cossack. That's what his name is, Doctor Cossack. Doctor C. Or for you guys, C. Oh god, I'm bad at this. C. Oh, that's backwards. Whatever. See, it's it's like a palace. Doctor Wily doesn't have a palace. <laughs> this is a new boss, James. It's a new boss. So. So yeah, guys. Uh, the Switch. The biggest thing I love about it is it's portable. And I haven't had a portable since the original Game Boy, so. I don't know why I never got, like, a DS or anything. <clears throat> I, I just never thought I was, like, a portable... a portable gamer. <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't know. I really don't have a reason, actually. Yeah, that's right, there's no skull in the castle, so it's not Wily. Not Wily. Dr. Cocksack, nice. <laughs> Uh, that's like a that's a joke I would say. More like Dr. Cocksack, am I right, people? <laughs> I missed out. What did I miss out on? Neslo in the house! Ah, in the house, that shows my age. Uh, Neslo, what's up, man? What did I miss out on? What are you talking about, man? Tell me, what did I miss out on? Did I miss out on something important? In this game, or what? Um, let's see. Just balloon up there, forget all this nonsense. Whoops. Um, it's a bat up there. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was a waste. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I probably did, but it's not too late. It's not too late. I can always buy one on uh, eBay or Amazon or whatever. I actually was looking them up to how much they go for recently. They don't go for that much, so if I really wanted one, I would get one. And you know what? I really want to get a... Oh, my God. Do that again. I really want to get a 3DS for that, that Zelda I never played. Uh... Called. It was one link, like, like he can go along the walls, like a painting, and walk along the walls. What was that one called? I played that Zelda like a little bit, like at the store, right? You know, they have a demo of it. I was like, oh, this is. I died. Between worlds. That's right. Oh no, I played it at. I played it at E3? I, where, I don't remember where I played it. I played it somewhere. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. This is just like Link to the Past, but not. Um, so yeah, I want to play that. Oh, Minish Cap. I was playing Minish Cap on the Wii U. I need to finish that too, actually. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I think I was like stuck somewhere. That's why I stopped playing. <laughs> I stopped playing it. I think I got stuck somewhere. I don't remember. You know, there's... Zelda games, like, you, you leave it for a while and you go back and you're like, oh, wait, what am I supposed to be doing right now? I think I just got the ability to turn small. I think that's where I left off. 
then I was like talking to little mice and stuff. I don't know what's going on in that game. It's bonkers. Your hat was talking to you and stuff. Like, what is going on in this game? Your hat talks to you? Is this supposed to be the origin of Link's hat? But, I don't know. Yes? No? I don't know. Because, uh, um, now Nintendo's saying Skyward Sword is the, the first Zelda, so... Link had a hat there, I don't know. Nintendo, you're mixed up. You're mixed up, then. Alright, what's happening right now? Some more juice for the balloon, there we go. <sighs> what's your favorite Zelda, you guys? Mine's probably Ocarina of Time. Um, I know that's a lot of people's favorite. But this new Zelda might might overthrow it because so far it's like amazing like it 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 feels like what ocarina time felt like when i first played it back in 98 i was like wow i'm like wowed by it like how open world it is for a zelda game because skyward sword was like i like skyward sword but it was too linear way too linear all right what boss is this i don't remember all these bosses oh my god I think the drill kills this guy. Let me see. Uh, is it the drill? I don't know. We'll see. I don't remember. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I have to go in there. Oh, I messed up. Oracle of Ages. Oh, did I play that? Or did I play Seasons? I don't know which one I played. They're very seasons and, or and ages. Oracle of Ages and Seasons are very similar. I don't remember which one I played though. Oh my God, I'm doing terrible. Um, Majora's Mask. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Awesome Boo Forums in the house. Awesome Boo Forums has been watching my my stuff forever too, man. God, you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, awesome Boo Forums is from back in the day, too. So I appreciate that he's stuck around, and all you guys have stuck around. Uh, I'm not a fan of Twilight Princess. I am not a fan of Twilight Princess. I think Mega Buster, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna this. Let's not die, though, shall we? All Nighter likes Link to the Past. Well, Link to the Past. Is amazing, so <laughs> can't really deny a link to the past. That game stands the test of time for sure. You know? uh, you only beat the game uh, anniversary collection once. Yeah, Breath of the Wild might be uh, one of the top Zelda games. Again, I haven't played through the whole thing yet, so we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. But, uh, yeah. Mine's Ocarina of Time. I like the Majora's Mask a lot. I just felt it was too short. And then, ah, oh, I messed up again. Get in there! I don't know which weapon kills this guy. I bet you it's, like, the dust one or something. I'm doing okay doing this, so we're gonna stick to this. But yeah, it, I'm, a, I'm a lot better than Mega Man. Well, it's just, I played this game, you gotta, considering how old I am, you know, I've played this game for years, so, you know, it's like practice, you know? And, I, was, and I, I mentioned in the beginning of the stream that, uh, this was the Mega Man game that I owned as a kid. This is the first Mega Man I ever played, was Mega Man 4, so I played this game a lot when I was a kid. Oh. Oh my god, I died! I freaking died! Um... <clears throat> I should have used the E-Tank. What was I doing? You beat Zelda 1 without a map. Oh, uh, did I beat it without a map? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I beat it when I was a kid. I was really little when I beat Mega or Zelda 1. And... 
I think I was 10 when I beat Zelda 1. I don't remember. I think I, I was 10. Zelda 1 didn't come out when I was 10. I mean, I was younger when it came out, but I think... I eventually, you know, when you're a kid, you're just a kid, right? And you can play video games or whatever. And then you go back to the game and you're like, okay. Grew up a little bit, kind of understand what's happening. I think I beat it when I was 10. And I didn't have the, I did have the map when it originally came out, but then by the time I was 10, I lost it or something. I didn't have it anymore. Alright, let's not die this time. Like, this guy is so easy and I died from him. Pathetic! I like Zelda 2. You like Zelda 2? I still, I don't think I ever beat Zelda 2. Awesome Boo Forums, I did not beat Zelda 2, I can tell you that. Uh... Yeah, well, Ocarina of Time, it was like a new, you had to learn the whole 3D space, because back then, you know, people weren't used to Zelda being 3D, so you just had to learn to get used to that. And then I think the trap that Nintendo fell into was that they were making every game like Ocarina of Time, you know. Even Skyward Sword had the, the character that was, you know, above, that you looked up and then like, Oh, hey, Link! Press, at, press this button so you could look up to me, you know? Like, they did that in Ocarina of Time. They did that with, like, I think Surya or one of those... Kokairi said that. Like, like, you guys are still doing the same stuff all this time, like 2011, and we're still, you're teaching me Z-targeting, like, come on, let's get past all this, let's, let's do something different now, we've, we've done this, like, too many times, so, this Zelda, they just throw you in the world, this Breath of the Wild, they just throw you in there, and it's like, yes, that's what I like, just throw you in there. They're telling the story, but you can do whatever you want. You know, they're, it's not like over beating your head, you know, clubbing you with all the controls right in the beginning. It's like slowly teaches you stuff. It's like, that's per, like whatever they're doing right now, I like what they're, the change that they're, they're bringing to the game. So, so far so good, Nintendo. So far so good. Worst Zelda in the franchise? Uh, I still think the Zelda 2 is the worst, but... And not not just because I didn't beat it, but because it's, it's not the... Uh, I don't know, I just couldn't get into Zelda 2. I couldn't get into it, guys! Dr. Cossack? No! I enjoyed Skyward Sword. I know it wasn't as good as the other ones, but I enjoyed it okay. Oh, this is one of these moving stages. These kind of stages of video games are annoying. Even in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, they're doing this stuff. But, oh, don't do this. This is just like... This is just to make the game unintentionally harder. I mean, it's not hard for me. I've been playing these kind of stages forever, but... I, I used to hate these kind of levels in Mario 3. Like, when we were in Bowser's, like, airship. Oh, that level... Those levels were such a pain. Such a pain in the butt, you know what I'm saying, you guys? Uh, I like... Breath of the Wild because I like my games hard and I don't think we got a different 3 Zelda game. Yeah, it's like I said, it's it's challenging in a different way, which is cool. I'm, I actually was dying in, in Breath of the Wild like by regular enemies. I'm like wow. Okay, cool. You know? And I know there's like people out there that don't like that the weapons break and stuff but I like that. You know? And I have you always have plenty of weapons so it's never like a Problem, you know. Oh gosh. Why is this in slow motion right now? Come on, people. Can anyone really explain that to me? Why they're slow down in a, on PlayStation 4? Like, is, is there a reason for that? I don't know. Have you ever done a three heart challenge on what is this? Wind Waker? No, actually, that's a that'd be a kind of a cool thing to do on Twilight Princess or Wind Waker. 
Actually, when I started, when I first bought um, Wind Waker HD, I immediately did the the hero mode because uh, Wind Waker I thought was was way too easy when I first played it on GameCube, so I, I went straight to hero mode. So I was enjoying that it was a little more difficult because <coughs> they don't give you hearts. They don't give you hearts all the time. Or actually, they don't give you hearts at all when you kill enemies. So <coughs> that forces you... I'm losing my voice now. I'm talking so much. Um, it forces you pretty much to... <coughs> I'm going to have to get a drink of water. Pretty much forces you to uh, use potions and stuff, which I appreciated that. Can I get in there? Yes. Yeah, I don't mind weapon. Yeah, I don't know who was who was complaining about it. I don't know. I I try to stay away from reviews and stuff because there's too many spoilers out there. Excuse me. <laughs> Get some water. I think that guy that on the gym position was complaining about it, and people got mad, or I don't know what he did, or he, he had a bad review of Zelda. Whatever. I don't care if people give the game bad reviews because you know <clears throat> if I'm enjoying it, that's all that matters. But, um, I guess he was complaining about the, the weapon degrading stuff, and I'm like, I don't know if it's nitpicking or, you know, he really didn't like it, but if he really didn't like it, that's his opinion, you know, I don't know. I don't see anything like it. <clears throat> I'm just using my, 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 my Mega Buster on this, excuse me. Um, I'm, pr uh, I'm pretty sure there's some weapon that kills this faster, but I don't know, this is doing his job. Like I was saying, Mega Buster makes this game way easier than it should be. <clears throat> if this was Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, this game would be a little bit harder without the Mega Buster. Have you ever heard of a game called BS Zelda? No. Uh, is that like a mo uh, modded game or like a fan created game or something? We're moving on, guys. Up. Well, we went up his castle, and then we're, like, going downstairs? Like, what? Capcom, what are you guys doing? <laughs> you should be going up the- you should be going up the castle, not going down. <clears throat> Let's see... Let's refill the ring, because, uh, I don't know if I need it or not, but... Probably do. What else? And we'll, uh, fill up the balloon. Case. I'm missing some other weapon right here, huh? I think there was like a hook shot or something in this game. Just missed it this time around. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. This is stupid. This is stupid! There we go. Came out of the Super NES satellite, which is what put me on my Super Alright, I'll have to look that up. BS Zelda. Is that super hard? It's funny how much I've played this game in the past, but I really don't remember any of this stuff. Yeah, Zelda. I mean, you can never go wrong with Zelda, people. Or Mega Man. Uh, yes, I like me. I mm, I can't say games because I think I've only played Mega Man X. I don't think I've ever played the sequels. Mega Man X is a classic to me, to be honest. Uh, but I never played the other ones. I never played Mega Man X two and up. I probably should too. I hope they come out with a Mega Man X collection on PS4. I know there's a Mega Man X collection on GameCube. I should just get that, but I don't know how much that is nowadays. And I know the original... Like, if you get the original on uh, 
physical copy, I think it's really expensive, so... Like Mega Man X4, I think is really expensive. No, it's, it's just... This game is just rock, paper, scissors, you know? You just gotta, like... Think of which weapon would kill which boss. Like, I killed the Toad guy, right? And he, he uses rain. And then you think, what would rain hurt? And I killed the guy, Bright Man, because he was made of, like, electricity and he was a light bulb. It's like, oh, rain, water going on a light bulb probably hurt him. And that usually works. Okay, here's Dr. Cossack. <clears throat> you know, back in the day, it's like, oh, he's a new boss. Cool. No Dr. Wily in this. <clears throat> but... I don't know, this is like, no challenge. But I think it does catch you though, if you stand up right underneath it. So then you kill it, and then it's like, oh, Proto Man, what the hell's going on? And then, please Mega Man, don't! My father's not really evil! Dr. Wily took me hostage and forced my father to fight you! Please, Mega Man, don't hurt my father anymore! Oh, Kalinka! Father! Mega Man, forgive me! Da 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 da! You betrayed me, Proto Man! I'm gonna break you, Mega Man! This dialogue in this game is so funny. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! Dr. Wily's the boss! Oh my god! I didn't even expect this! Oh yeah, I'm Dr. Wily. I'm ready to kill you, Mega Man! What would Dr. Wily sound like? Like a mad scientist? Like... Mega Man! <laughs> Here's a Skull Castle in space! I don't know. He looks like a Looney Tune character. Do I regret buying a Wii U? Uh, no, man. Actually, I don't. I haven't played it in a year, though. <laughs> um, that's just because I moved and I, and then I never hooked it back up. Um, it's actually over... I don't know, you can't see it, but it's behind me. It's in its box and stuff. I just need to unpack it. Um, but I haven't played it in a year. So, the last game I played on Wii U was Mario Maker, which is amazing. Um, <coughs> I don't regret buying the Wii U. Matter of fact, I still think you should buy one if you haven't bought one already because there's a lot of good games on it. And now is the best time to buy one because people are going to start collecting for it in the next 5-10 years when people are going to look back and say, Wii U was a really good console and, no one, and nobody took it seriously and blah blah blah. It's going to be like the Dreamcast, really. And then, you know, if you, you want a copy of Bayonetta, it's going to be like $150, so... If you could find Bayonetta for like 60 right now, 50 or 60, just buy it now because in 5 or 10 years, Bayonetta 2 with Bayonetta 1 is going to be like $150 or something on eBay. I'm, gonna, I'm calling that right now. Because <clears throat> nobody bought it. I mean, it sold like a million copies, I think, but, you know. Then they did the reprint, but the, the first print has Bayonetta 1 on it, so that's the print people are going to want. Are you ever going to revive Age of Entertainment? Why did you abandon it? I was rewatching some of your older videos. Uh, I didn't really... That's a long story, man. I didn't abandon it. It was just, uh... At the time, it was, uh... It was tough. 2012 is when I pretty much stopped making videos there. Um... And it was like a tough time during 2012. So... Uh, when I came back, I wanted to make a new channel and start over. And then when I started Game Capsule, like this channel, I was still going through, through the same problems and stuff. It's like I was, I was really discouraged. Like uh, YouTube copyright claimed all of my Movie Messenger videos, so no ad revenue was being made from it. Uh, what else happened? YouTube was getting bigger. So there's more people to compete against, and I wasn't prepared for that. Um, 
A lot of it was my fault, really. I wasn't prepared for all the changes that was that were happening. And I was making really good money on YouTube. <clears throat> and when that went away, I got really discouraged. That's the truth. I got really like depressed, discouraged about it. Because I felt like I, I built up this channel. And all of it was like a waste, you know what I mean? Like I, uh, I felt like at the time... Whoops, I didn't want to use that. At the time... Not now. At the time, I felt like I failed. Like, I'm a failure, and I can't believe I let it go, and I was making thousands of dollars, and then all that thousands of dollars went away, so I got really down about it. And yeah, it was, uh... Uh, Patreon? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I, I, like I told you... Last time, um, not last time, I told you in one of my videos in the comments, uh, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know what I would do, you know what I mean? Like, if you guys are gonna donate to me on Patreon, I need to give you guys the most value. Like, yeah, you're doing me a favor, but I want to give you guys something, like, not just like, oh, give me five dollars and I'll tweet to you, you know? Like, just get the hell out of here with that crap, you know? <laughs> Oh, give me ten dollars and then I'll say thank you in a video. Like, what? What is that? Like, I want to give you more than just that. So let me figure that out, and uh, then I might do a Patreon later. But I want to give people that watch me tremendous value. I don't want to just like take your money and like, oh, thanks. I'm gonna just tweet to you or something. That's that's just lazy in my opinion. No offense to people that have done that, but. I think the people, if people are going to give you money on Patreon, which is like, they don't even have to do that, you should give them more than, you know, more than enough. I don't know what I would give you guys, like, that's what I gotta figure out, you know? Yeah, 2012 was a bad year for me, really bad year. It was just the way I was thinking. I was just really depressed. I mean, I'll, I'll, I've been depressed for a long time. I'm just saying, like, it was really bad, 2012. <laughs> it was really bad. Uh, no. It's not going to be deleted. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I was thinking of doing, like, a Q&A on it in the future or something. I don't know. I might do, like, vlog. Not, not vlog, but I'll do, like, a Q&A thing on it or something. I, I still have to figure it out. You know, answer your guys' questions and stuff, and like, that kind of thing. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's, it's, even though there's 15,000 subscribers, if I make a video, I'm only going to get like 100 views on it. So it's pretty much, it's done. It would be like making videos for this channel. It's like very, it's like the same thing. Because either all those subscribers are, they've grown up, moved on, they, uh... They're like their accounts are abandoned, and you know maybe they made a new account. There's like so many factors nowadays. So, I mean, it's disappointing, but you know it is what it is, and I gotta just move forward. And uh, I want to make, I want this channel to be the, the my next big channel that I'm not gonna give up on. So, it's gonna take a while, but you know, I plan on sticking around for the long haul with this. What can I make this here? Oof, that was close. Close call. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, depression, it's not fun. But, uh, you know, I got it under control at this point. You know, taking medication, going to therapy and stuff like that. And a lot, you know, it is what it is. You gotta do what you... You have to do what's best for you, you know? So, it just took me a while to really realize I was really not doing well. Sometimes you just think you're sad, and you're like, "Why well, am I sad all the time?" But then, you know, it kind of clicks. Like, "Oh, I'm, I'm probably, I think I'm depressed." <laughs> you know? I don't know. Life is weird. You just gotta figure out. Uh... Oh, that's not good. <coughs> Another channel and still monetize the preview video. What? If you wanna make movie reviews again? You can host them on a different site. Just put a link in the description. Uh, I think I'm done doing movie stuff. Uh, I mean movie reviews. I, you know, because I'm still working on writing movies and stuff, and making. I want to make movies and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna review movies anymore. I think that that ship has sailed. 
I'm not like really interested in doing it anymore. So we'll see what I do with that. Um, let's see. Running out of all of my stuff here, guys. But yeah, like I said, if I do Patreon, it's gonna be like, oh, you're gonna want to donate. <laughs> like I'm gonna, that's I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I want to, I want to encourage people to donate. Like, wow, like look at all the stuff he's giving us. You know, that's what I, I want. I just need to figure out what that would be. Like, oh, give me twenty dollars, and I'll, I'll tweet to you. Like, thank you. Like, that's the laziest laziest thing you can do. Like, someone's giving you $20. If you saw this person in real life and they handed you a $20 bill because you're playing video games on the internet, you better give them more than just a freaking handshake. You better take them out to dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's just what I think. You need to do more than just saying thank you. But you need to, like... I don't know. I don't know what you gotta do. A thank you is like the minimum requirement. That should be expected. You shouldn't like put that in your Patreon. Like, oh, you know what you get? I get to tell you thank you. That's what you get for twenty dollars. I'm gonna say thank you to you for giving me money. Get the hell out of here with that crap. Is that a, that's not a benefit. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're like the top YouTuber. It's still not a benefit. Twenty dollars? A thank you is expected. You know? What else what else are you gonna do for me? You know? Oh, behind the scenes videos? Oh like I get to uh, see like how you make videos or something I don't know. Am I part Latino? Yeah, that's what I was, uh, I am. I'm half. And I, I was saying, uh, I was saying earlier in the stream, this guy came in and started speaking Spanish to me, and I felt really bad because I didn't know what he was saying. Like, I kind of knew what he was saying. And then he left. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I know, I know. You expect me to speak Spanish, but then I can't. I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink of water. Uh, we're at one, 128? Okay, I, I should be close to being in the game. I think this Wily Incarnation is easy. Oh wait, I have to fight the bosses again. Of course I do, this is Mega Man, people. Mega Man. No, I can speak like really basic Spanish. I don't know. I can't speak it fluently though. I never grew up with it. Sorry about the James. Sorry about that, James. What? Sorry about that, James. I don't know if Super Mario Pokemon is talking to James. James Films or me or my name's not James. I think he's talking to someone else. <clears throat> All right, this is where we fight all the bosses again, so that's fun. I actually always liked this, that you, could, you have to fight the bosses again. Because it was like... Uh, favorite food is... Ugh. First thing that comes to mind is steak. Like, T-bone steak. But, like, pizza, Chinese food, uh, Vietnamese uh, pho, it's like soup, you know? I have a lot of favorite foods. Sushi. Let's see, we're just gonna go... There's no really... There's no order to this. I kinda remember... <clears throat> I don't know, what's your favorite food? James Films, yeah, you were talking to him, right? Is he still here? James, are you still here, man? <clears throat> uh, let's see. This is the weapon, isn't it?
Uh, no. <clears throat> Not a Nintendo fan. I used to be when I was a kid, for sure. <clears throat> like, I was, uh... Oh, it was like... It was pretty bad. <laughs> I, like... I would, uh... I... God, I can't even speak right now. During the Super Nintendo days, their slogan, Nintendo slogan, was Play It Loud. And I, and I wrote Play It Loud on my backpack in Whiteout. Uh, everyone knew me as, like, the Nintendo guy. But, you know, it wasn't really a big deal back then. Um, but, you know, you had your friends that were really into Sega, so you always had, like, fights about, like, not fights, but, you know, on the playground, you'd be like, oh, Sonic sucks, like, he's not even good, he's like, Mar it's not even like Mario, all he does is run fast, and, and they'd be like, yeah, but Sonic's cool, and Mario's a stupid fat plumber, and, you know, I don't know, it's just kid stuff, you know what I mean? Like, it was fun back then, talking like that. <clears throat> the internet takes it way seriously, like, I never, I can't believe I just died from Bright, man. Um, <clears throat> internet takes it to a whole new level because if you like say that you love Nintendo on the internet, people will tell you to kill yourself and stuff. <laughs> so it's just kind of ruthless nowadays. It's like you you put your opinions out in the world, and little kids are like, "Why don't you just kill yourself? You like Nintendo, you little baby? You know stuff like that." Like, God damn, I'm just I'm just telling you what I like. You know, so it's different nowadays. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's funny, you know. It's funny stuff. I was, I was telling my sister I never would have imagined, like, when I was a kid, that one day people would be watching each other playing video games like, like this, you know. This is like crazy to me. Like you guys are sitting here watching me play a video game or talking. It's amazing to me. It's like really cool, you know. Because back in the day, it was just like, hey, my sister would watch me play a video game, and I would buy like. You know, <clears throat> Ninja Gaiden 2, and like, oh, okay, watch me play the game, and, and then I watch her play it for a little while. I never thought in the future people will be watching each other playing games. That's, that's pretty neat, I think. <clears throat> what am I doing? I don't know which weapon. <clears throat> okay, so we used the wrong weapon last time. Let's use the right one, shall we? It was dust, not ring. <clears throat> Oh, okay, come on, Skullman, don't kill me. There we go. Donkey Kong Country is clearly better than Mario and Sonic. Mm, no. No, it's not. Even though I love... I love, with all of my heart, Donkey Kong Country 2. It's probably my one of my favorite games of all time, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, what am I supposed to be using on this guy? I forgot. Skull? I don't know, who cares? <laughs> who freaking cares? I don't even know. This is working. This is working okay. Shooting like freaking penises out of his pants? What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm old enough, Mr. Boo Forums. I'm old enough. I'm older than you, that's all I have to say. How old do you think I am? Oh, you can probably guess by looking at my old videos. Because I was really young when I started YouTube. Like, really young. It was like a long time ago when I started YouTube. He's like the dumbest boss of all time. <clears throat> Alright, next. Like, if you wanted to make a film... Wait, if you wanted to film you playing a game, you had to... Yeah, that was back in, uh... 2007, people were just filming their TVs, remember that? Yeah, and people were happy with doing that. No, no problems there. And then people started getting capture cards, and then I was like, oh... Your quality's bad if you're, like, filming your TV, so then people felt bad about it, and then... A lot of people quit, you know, making videos because that's they couldn't afford buying a capture card.
No, you're, you're in the ballpark. You're in the ballpark. I don't know why I'm not using the weapons. What am I doing? Oh, my god! I did it again! <clears throat> I died in this easy game. The internet is awesome despite the copyright stuff. Well, it's just because they don't know how to handle it yet, like copyright. It's... The internet's such a huge virtual space, it's like people don't know how to control it, so they're like, okay, they're trying to figure it all out. So then when people start uploading like movies and stuff to YouTube, and Viacom got pissed off about that, and YouTube had to go to court with them for a while, and people still do that, you know? And now what people have problems just like, oh, you put a song. I was streaming on Twitch the other day and then I got muted when I, I was I was playing some music in the background and I was like, what the heck's happening? Yeah. Oh no 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 James, I was younger than that. I was younger than 25 when I started. Um uh, Piracy and emulation. Um I don't know, like, I play, I can't pretend I've never played an emulated game before, I have. Um, I'm pretty sure I have Tetris Attack on my phone, like on my Android phone. But I do own Tetris Attack in real life too, so, <clears throat> I don't know. The people that just download everything, I don't think that's cool. But I don't see, like, a problem with, like, oh, you emulate one game and maybe you fall in love with it and then actually buy it. I, I don't see it. That's the thing. That's why it's such a, like, a gray area. <clears throat> yeah, but no, I'm... I, uh... When I started YouTube, I was younger than 25. <clears throat> what is this, Bright Man? This is dumb too. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you guys think about uh, YouTube? How fun that it is today? It's still fun. I mean, there's still new things now. Like, look, I'm streaming live. That's pretty neat. Um, but I don't know. I think old school YouTube was was more fun because it was just, it was brand new for people and stuff. Uh, yeah, I owned an Atari a long time ago. I had Popeye, I had Pac-Man, Frogger, Pitfall. <coughs> I don't know which Atari console I had, though. I can't tell you. I don't I don't remember all their names. What is this? This is, a. Uh... I think this is Pharaoh Man. <coughs> yeah. Uh, this is no hands, guys. Look at this. So you stand right there. It doesn't even hurt you. Come on, Capcom. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Isn't this grow yet? Yeah, They were owned by Google. Yeah, that was that was not too long though. They they've been owned by Google for most of their life, actually. Oh, are we done with this now? Dang. Um, think, 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 think. Was it dust? I don't remember who kills this this guy. Uh, was it ring? Nope. Was it drill? Nope. Was it? No, it's not that this? No. Was it... I don't think it's anything. It's Mega Buster. We're gonna go with Mega Buster. Oh, it's not Mega Buster either? What? Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, we're... Whoops. I don't like this thing in the middle of the PS4 controller. I always accidentally press it. Don't want to die. So fill up. Uh, what, what do you think of Mighty Number no. Nine? Never played it yet. 
Uh, I think it's okay. I might play, after I beat Mega Man 1 through 6, I might buy Mighty Number no. 9 and play that. Does that sound like a good idea? <laughs> I know people are saying it's terrible, but it's like the, you know. Since for some reason the, the PlayStation Store doesn't have Mega Man 9, I don't know why. Uh, it was, I was thinking about doing that. Um, I also want to play Unravel, either on here or on Twitch. I don't know which one I'll go with. Oh my god, this is stupid. I'm, uh, Mega Man doesn't jump high enough here. No assist. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing to play. I'm, I'm gonna have to use another E tank. Gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is stupid. <laughs> Come on! Did you play Shovel Knight? Uh, yeah, I played Shovel Knight. I love. I played on Wii U and I, I loved it. I think it's on Switch, too. I don't know if I'll buy it again. I don't know. I love it that much. <clears throat> oh, don't fly away. That means there's another incarnation. I don't remember the last incarnation. Yeah, Shovel Knight was awesome. Is awesome, I should say. Now for the final battle. <clears throat> in the clouds? Come on. Like, I'm walking out of his castle in the clouds now. Um. Uh, I used to watch him. I don't watch him anymore. <clears throat> Yeah, I used to watch him maybe back in 2014, but yeah, I don't know, I stopped watching his videos. I kind of go back sometimes and see what he talks about, but, oh, this is an awesome song. This is a, this is really good boss music right here. I think this is fair on I'm pretty sure. Oh, I used all my Pharaoh Man already. All right. I don't have to do without it. <clears throat> oh, really? Do I need the Pharaoh Man thing? Crap. I don't know if I can kill him without it. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. I might have to die on purpose, though, because, uh... So Mega Buster doesn't work on this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you do you have that snazzy suit you wear on your old channel? You gotta look slick, AG. <laughs> uh, it was just a jacket, and I think I have it still. Okay, I think I, I'll use this, even though it would barely hurt him. <clears throat> I barely have any of the rings left either. Yeah, I think I have that jacket still somewhere. Wow, this sucks. Oh wait, this, maybe this is the answer. Oh wait, it doesn't follow him, huh? I don't want to die on purpose just to refill all my energy. This is this is dumb, Capcom. If people don't have enough energy for their weapons, what do you expect them to do here? <clears throat> Broken game mechanics! There's nothing I can do! There's nothing I can do! Alright, this is getting done. Let's see, what do we do here? Skull? I don't know if this is gonna do anything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to die on purpose. Just so I can use my Pharaoh Man weapon. Oh, we streaming at 144? I think it's longer than the other ones. <clears throat> oh, you know why? Because it was Dr. Cossack and then Wily, so it was like two bosses. So they made the game a little longer than the other ones. By having two castles. Yeah, Mario Maker's pretty damn good. Um, I spent like a long time on this one level and nobody played it. Like, maybe like a couple people did. 
And then uh, I made this little level, and then I, a lot of people played it. So, you know, it's just like anything else that you make in life, like whether it be videos or you write something. It doesn't matter how long you take on it, it's, it's, if, if people like it, that's all that matters. So you can't be like one of those people like, I spent like all my life making this and, and you should like it. No, that's not how it works. If you spend an hour on something, people could like that more than something you spend like a year on. So that is irrelevant. <laughs> 1v1 in Splatoon, do they even have that? Use the force, I'm gonna have to die on purpose actually. Cause I need the Pharaoh Man weapon. I'm just gonna die, guys. I need Pharaoh Man's weapon. Ugh. Uh, hopefully it fills up everything. Okay, good. Alright, let's finish this now. Let's finish it off. Um... Usually I quit, and then, um... Yeah, I usually quit after this. I could start over and do Mega Man 5, if, if you want. I mean, that'll just be another hour. I have to actually edit some videos for... Game Capsule actually for this week because I'm gonna be super busy this week and I need to, I need a pre-upload or whatever you call it. <clears throat> oh, dang it. Making dumb mistakes. Oh my god. Alright, man, yeah, I appreciate that. It's just because I need to edit uh, game capsule videos. I'm, I'm unboxing a couple. What did I unbox? I don't remember. I don't know, I just have to edit some videos. I have to. I have to. I did that PlayStation camera video, and then I need to finish that because I said, oh, I'll show you how to uh, use it. <clears throat> That's like a quick how to video, though. And then I have an unboxing to edit. Come on, Dr. Wily, this is like the last hit. Where are you? Come on, man! Where are you, buddy? There you are. Got that trophy for beating Mega Man 4. Thank you. And he's begging for, for forgiveness. Please forgive me. I need forgiveness. Uh, Movie Bob, I only saw uh, one of his reviews before. Danger, I gotta get the heck out of the clouds. Uh, I saw he did a review of that Pixels movie. Uh, that, I don't know, people were sharing that on Facebook. That's like the only thing I've ever seen of him. He was complaining hardcore about that. Um, I don't know. I, I can't really judge him off of one video. Oh, I got it. Oh, I'm in the snow or I'm in the clouds. I don't know. This game. I thought I was in the clouds. It looked like I was in space. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mega Man 4 on the PS4. Part of the Mega Man Legacy Collection? Is that what it's called? <laughs> I always forget. I always almost say anniversary collection. Here's to Mega Man. One of the best game characters of all time. Oh, he's a classic. I don't know if he's one of the best, but he's, he's a classic video game character. Um, Super Mario Pokemon, good night. Thanks for stopping by. Much love to you, buddy. Um, catch my videos this week, all right? I'll be uploading them Tuesday or Friday? Tuesday and Friday? I don't know. Sometime this week. I, I, I'm going to have a schedule eventually. Yeah, man. Uh, I also stream on Twitch, too. So, uh, Twitch, um, it's just Game Capsule, not The Game Capsule. You can probably find me. I, I, I stream other games that you I won't stream here. Like, I don't know. Battlefront, Disc Jam, 
I plan on buying Overwatch. I don't know when I'm gonna get that, but uh, yeah, if you wanna watch me on Twitch, um, please follow me there too, cause I stream there. I'm gonna be streaming there more often. I'm gonna kind of go back and forth, YouTube, Twitch, you know. I'll do different things, have exclusive stuff. Uh, but there's Mega Man 4. This is the... There, uh... There you have it, Sepia Tone. Mega Man. Reunited at last. James, good night! Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by tonight, watching Mega Man 4, one of the greatest Mega Man games of all time. I don't know if it's one of the, <laughs> I know it's one of the greatest, but it's one of my favorites. Yeah, James, I, I appreciate the love, man. I, I know you've told me that plenty of times. I appreciate that. I really do. That means a lot. Um, I'm very humbled by that, so Be peace out to you, man. <laughs> Peace out, dude. <laughs> and awesome boo forums. Thanks for stopping by. Wherever you are, man. Appreciate ya. Super po Super Mario Poker Nerd. All your loyals, my loyal royals. I need a, I need to think of like a name to call you guys. I don't know. You you can think of the name. Maybe we'll figure that out some some other time. Um. And there you have it. Special thanks to all these Japanese people that made Mega Man 4. Uh, Sekaguchi, Yamajishi, Kikuchi, Karita, Sutaya, Kawatori, Daiju, Seki, Nakakayawa, Kushiwara, Okamoto, Shizumu, Kondu, Mitsuru. I can't, I can't say Japanese names. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be stupid. Ah, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> there you have it. Mega Man 4, presented by... Presented by who? Presented by who? I don't know. Nintendo? Oh, Capcom? Okay. There you have it, folks. Mega Man 4. Thanks for watching. Do I got Mega Man on my shirt? Where is he? It's right there, baby. Right there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Alright.